So we're back working on this 2015 Chevy Trax with uh, no oil pressure. Uh, in a previous video I condemned the oil pump. So the customers obtained a used, previously enjoyed 1.4 liter turbo engine and we're putting it in. Now all the service information says the engine comes out the bottom. But I looked at it and as you can see if you remove the intake manifold which is not that bad there's only six bolts take all the wiring harness off the top of the engine it does come out the top it is a bit of challenge oh I did remove the wiper cowl as well that gives you a couple extra inches but uh, you get it can get it out I'm going to try and get the, the replacement engine a little bit more level when I'm putting it in but it does come out the top uh, this is an automatic. I don't know if these vehicles are even sold in the standard variety. Uh, wood block underneath the CV shaft on the right side to kind of hold up the transaxle. Yeah, now it's a matter of uh, stripping some parts off this thing and stripping the other rear, uh, diff other engine so that it's ready to go in. So there's the used engine back in. This. Uh, front mount here is a bit of a challenge you have to lower the engine to get this bottom bolt out raise the engine to get the two top bolts out and raise the engine to get the mount out of the way uh, yeah it's bell housing bolts are all bolted up uh, access through the starter hole there for the uh, torque converter bolts they're loctited and bolted up we got to put the AC compressor back on I had just tied it to the subframe here so this is actually going pretty good I hope this engine is going to be good for this customer well there it is back together and running fill the cooling system purge the air out of the heater make sure the AC is working I never had the AC compressor off I just moved it off to the front of the rod still got to put the uh, covers on the bottom of the engine but it's got oil pressure, oil light went out. Let's throw a scan on it and see if there's any fault codes, although there's no warning lights on. Other than the door ajar light. So yes, the engine comes out the top. You do have to take the wiper cowl off and the wiper arms and the intake manifold but it does come out the top and I would highly recommend to do it that way it's once you got the intake off it's really easy to get out the alternator and the starter which are under the intake manifold as well so it's really not that hard to take the intake off there's only six bolts on it so that's it call this one fixed